hours of Star Wars memorabilia shows. Well, the reason we're doing this in the gift guide, this is maybe not for you, or maybe it is, but if you have a Star Wars fan on your list, this is celebrating 40 years of one of the most iconic films ever created in the last 100 years, the original Star Wars. And it is doing it with giving you the Best Buy in America yep. on a piece, actually six pieces, authentic pieces of film history from the actual film, Star Wars A New Hope. What is a film cell? It says it in the title there. Yeah, so a film cell or a frame here is back in the 70s, 80s. So wild, look at that. Before the days of digital, they racked up the 35 millimeter film and they projected it on the wall. So the company that produced these, and there are only a thousand of them in existence. No, there are 891 that we have right now. All right. And that's it, 891 that we can send you. They, Please continue. They would cut the frames, or they were able to get hold of a, uh, of a reel of it, and they cut the frames. So each one of the thousand is unique in that no two frames are the same. Nobody else has this exact wow. frame. Wow. Nobody else has that exact frame, that one, that one, that one, or that Look one. Look at Java. That's awesome. Yep. So your six that you will be getting right here for five CPM to twenty dollars, and normally this is one hundred and twenty-nine dollars. If you were to go direct to FilmCellLTD.com, this is one hundred twenty-nine. We have it for less. Yours will be completely unique. Your one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, just to, just full disclosure, these are not going to be lit up the way they're lit up right now. We have a, a bright light behind them, just so you can see it. Just so you can see it. Yeah. Right. But you take a flashlight, and you will see. Look at that. Look There's at this Leia. Leia. Yep. That is, that is not a facsimile. No. That is literally <laughs> a piece of the actual Star Wars film, the yep. original film. And it is framed, it's matted, and look at what else you are getting. So those are reproductions of the three uh, versions of the movie poster. This is the one that I remember growing up. That's from the 70s right there. I believe the one in the center is probably original concept art in one of the, the alternates. So cool. And then the one over here is when they re-released those movies on DVD and digitized a lot of it back in the 90s. So you've got all three versions of that. You've got the six unique cells. And then on the back, you've got a certificate of authenticity to prove that you own one of only a 1,000 uh, in existence, which is pretty cool. Each one has been signed by the creators of this, and it gives you a little history uh, on the back side there. So pretty cool. If you've got anybody in your family, whether it's you, your kids, your grandkids, because the I'm generations, you. man, they just span every generation, right? Whether you saw it originally yes, or you no saw doubt. it for the first time that, last I'm week. I'm telling you, this is it's ultimate amazing. nostalgia. Like, what if you had, like, you know, part of the dress from Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind, right? A piece of Babe Ruth's bat, right? Although those kinds of things are, or, or, or some of the dirt from Yankee Stadium, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're, all these things are incredibly collectible for the collector on your list. This is the only order we have, only order, and Easy Pay goes away at the end of our day. So this is not a facsimile. These limited edition film cells um, are incredible. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you can't do this anymore. No, because there's no, there's no film anymore. It's shot on film. Yeah, now when we go to the movie theater, that's all digital. So that's not a projection as it used to be. And for those of you taking a, a quick peek to the sides, to the left or to the right of these frames, you can see where the teeth would grab the actual film, the 35 millimeter film right here. There's a perfect example. Those little holes on that side right there is what would drive <laughs> the film through the projector yeah. and shoot it up onto the screen. It reminds me of like, remember if you're old enough to remember editing a film. Physically oh, you had, had to, to cut it. You physically, when they called it. about cutting the film, cutting yep. on cutting the tape. cutting room floor, That's right. that phrase, it was on the cutting room floor, yep. right? Your scene, <laughs> that moment is cut out of the film. That's what this is. So it was a remarkable opportunity for the original. Like this is the first. I actually, technically, it would be episode four. Four. It went four, five, six, <laughs> right? one, two, three. Seven came out two years ago, and December 15th will mark the release of episode eight, so, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool for the collector. Again, if you're watching right now, it could be your son, could be your daughter, could be your grandson. You know that they are crazy when it comes to this franchise. And they know the next film is coming out. They will be around the block. They will make sure that they're first to see it. And they are collectors. And it all goes back to this movie as a way to, for it to all begin. So if you've seen any of the prequels, if you've seen any of the sequels and all that stuff, yeah. none of it made any sense until you saw the original. So May of 1977, so we're just a little past, 
40 years, and I'm old enough to remember, though I was tiny, I did see the original Star Wars movie in the theaters. Now, the crazy part about collecting Star Wars is that it's two extremes. One are all the toys that they mass produce, and there are thousands and if not hundreds of thousands of each. Then the other extreme is the props, the one of a kinds, where nobody's going to get a Stormtrooper helmet or nobody's going to get an original lightsaber. If you want something that's somewhere in between, something that's actually collectible, something that's limited, this is a perfect example. Let me, let me give you the update here. Fewer than 600 now to go around. So this is going quickly. It is as new as new can be, brand new today. It is a limited edition that we have, and we have 600. So a limited edition were made, what'd you say, 1,000? And they're not making any more. And they, they only have the rights for 1,000. And they're not making any more. So I'm telling you, this is a collectible for the Star Wars fan. It changed modern, not only movie making, but it changed the way studios looked at films. This is one of the original blockbuster films. There was Jaws, yeah. <laughs> and then there was Star Wars. Well, where they're, they're wrapped around the, the corner, and it changed uh, careers. Now. Careers. And it changed. Nobody knew who Mark Hamill was. Nobody knew who exactly. You know, right. Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford did American uh, Graffiti. <laughs> that was about uh, it. But this was a you know, little, little part in a little, what was called a, um, a Western in space. That was the original Lucas kind of concept. That's how he And nobody it. knew that this thing was going to go and become what it's become now. Yep. Right? It could have bombed. It could have been a one, like, oh, okay, a little science fiction movie, and it became one of the most iconic movie franchises of all time. This is how it originated, and the person you're giving this to has a piece of movie history. Again, let's clarify yeah, the what it film is. cell. Yeah, so the whole idea is that these are actual <laughs> frames from a 35 millimeter film. So this was used at some point to project Star Wars onto, into a theater someplace. And yours will be different. Every single one of the thousand. That Mark Hamill shot, you may not get that. Right. Not this, that's the only one of that particular frame, the only one of that particular frame. Not to say that there's not another one that two minutes down the road, there was a similar scene. But these particular frames, there is only one of each. So 500 to go around, sets. and then it's sold out. Wow. Yeah. So Mark Hamill there as, as Luke, and there's uh, Vader. Uh, each one of these... Each six unique frames. Nobody else has those exact scenes. And of course, everybody gets the three movie posters. The original, somewhere in between. Then of course, when they did the special edition, which some people liked, some people were like, you know what? Leave it the way that it was. There you go. In the last 30 seconds, A New Hope, the 40th anniversary. Do you remember, where were you back in 1977? May when 25th. This debuted in, on May 25th. Celebrating it and all of Star Wars for the Star Wars fan. It's ready to hang. It's ready to hang for, for literally decades and decades to come. That's not going to wear out. It's behind glass. It's all It'll set be to there go. for a long time. Yep. That's a collectible that's going to stand the test of time for the Star Wars fan. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Happy Halloween. I'm uh, dressing up as an Ewok. And 55354. Five, <laughs> Seven minutes away from a top find, by the way. This is indeed a top find. And this top find is the Revolve Surge Protectors. Not only is this gonna be a place to plug in your stuff, but it's gonna help prevent your other stuff from getting blown up with a big surge of electricity if your power outage uh, happens within your home. One, two, three, four of them. It doesn't matter what kind of plug you have. It'll work in any kind of outlet. That's coming up, stay tuned. All right, all right. Where are these bad boys? Do I have them, I have them right in front of right me? Right here, hold right here. Where here, right here. Oh. One, two, three, what about this? <laughs> One, two, three, the scrub. Right? Mommies. Mommies. Hey, one of the most popular, not the most popular brand in the history of Shark Tank was the Scrub Daddy. Lori Grenier, the Scrub Daddy. And Aaron Krauss, who's been on QVC, the inventor of it, changed everybody. And